evening all and it's a evening in the shed with this monstrosity which is 173 kilograms and I know that because it says it there and that's what it is it's a Clark Strongarm motorcycle lift model number CML3 and it weighs 173 kilograms guy from work well I had it delivered to work and then a the guy at work used his um, pickup van his transit flatbed and we got it here and then to get it down my back passage I screwed skateboards to the side of it so I could have it up on end and we manhandled it through through the shed in the rear and laid it down and now I'm on my own because he had to shoot to unbox it so first of all let's get these skateboards off and the green straps off and take the lid off okay so that's the box open and got it wrong first of all brought it in the wrong way so me and the missus have had to manhandle that luckily enough I had it on the skateboards on the edge so it wasn't too much grief but this is the end where the um, wheel clamp screws to and then obviously that's the rear with the back flap to drop your wheel out stick, stick that to one side and as I say this is this is rather heavy and And my plan is to kick out the edges and hopefully it will just roll out because it's on wheels that way and I'll pull the box out it'll roll out that way and I'll pull the box out this way in theory yeah in theory let's give that a go Should have built a bigger shed. We're out the box. Okay. Instructions. You get an exploded view of every single part and all the part names. You get your uh, fixed clamp which obviously screws to the floor like that this one moves obviously with the handle there you've got two positions to put this and two positions to put that I think we'll have it right forward so this one clamps onto this and then obviously you wind that in and out to clamp your tyre whilst this one is fixed in place and then you have a flap at the front there just to stop you riding your bike straight off the other end of the ramp and then you get your box of bits which is this lot like that so these are the wheels for the back these are very strong cast iron possibly yeah cast iron I'm going with cast iron so these two go on the back and then your swivel wheels 
go towards the front and now all I've got to do is locate the correct bolts for the correct job as I say we've got an exploded view which gives me what number stuff is but whether what we got there 24 so yes all I've got to figure out is what nut and bolt goes where and then start putting it together easy okay powers of deduction so far got for the two casters that go on the front eight bolts eight flat washers eight nuts and eight lock washers bolt goes through the washer goes through the caster up through the body of the lift then a lock washer and then a nut is that one not sure about these two yet these two with the washers and the lock washers these are obviously tie down hooks which just bolt to the side of the to the side of the tray the bed to the side of the bed there you go so there's four of those and then the two wheels two cast wheels are just held on with washers and then cut a pin through the axle so I'm going to stick them on first and then possibly look at getting the um, lever on to pump the lift up so I can get access underneath so anyway those two first so all it is is the wheel on and then a washer and the cotter pin through the hole and I'll get some pliers and bend that over and then the same the other side okay I'll bend those cotter pins over and then as I say see about getting the pedal on which is Oh, beautiful bike over here over here and pump it up a bit so I can get better access to the front okay so it's not rocket science the main lever just let's put some light on this just pushes on to the square head there and then you push the pedal up and down as I say, I'll get this up enough off the floor that I've got, well, that's what it's designed for, isn't it? Making it easier to work on. So, um, yeah, I'll pump that up and we'll see where we get. There you go, that's my new ramp up in the air. That didn't take long. So now do work on the bits on the front. So first thing I'm going to do is wind down the stabiliser to lift the table up so I can get the caster underneath. As I say as I say, I think it's the bolt through the washer and then up through the caster and up through the frame. Then a lock washer and a nut.
So now the wheel clamp. Okay, for the next step, you've got 12 big nuts, 12 washers, 12 bolts, which are for the main fixings, um, all the main holes, get your plates on, and then the four smaller bolts are to screw this to the side of that. Still not sure what these two are for. Get in there. <laughs> right, let's bolt some more bits on. So that's it all up together and it really is very easy to move on them wheels which is quite nice whether it will be as easy on um, on those wheels when there's a bike on top of it as well I don't know I probably would have preferred casters front and rear because my shed is so small my shed's so small it'd be nice to have a bike on there and just be able to push it to one side when I'm not working on it but with those big cast front wheels I don't think that's going to be possible but as I say it is it is fairly easy to manoeuvre so I can push it around quite easily so with a few shunts I could quite easily get it further over um, that's it really that's my new who's it boy Clark Clark strong arm but there you go that's it um, I did work out what them other two bolts were for is for putting this flap on which which bolts on here to stop you accidentally activating the down pedal um, I think I'm gonna leave that for the minute because I can see the pedals being a hindrance as I say with the tight amount of room I've got in the shed um, I'll use them and then take take them off and put them out of the way so as I say I'll leave that flap off for the minute um, other bits are the anti-drop bar uh, there you go it goes through the holes on the front depending on what height you've got it at it's currently at maximum so it goes in the bottom hole obviously if the jack fails the bikes not just going to descend to earth but yes there you go that was uh, 400 and oh blimey 470 quid and 50 quid delivery from Machine Mart and it took a while for them to get them in Clark themselves had run out and when they did get them in it was a matter of days before I received delivery but there you go there's the new addition to the shed my new what are they called? Tables. Lift tables. Hydraulic motorcycle lift table thingy. Majig. Um, obviously that's the rear rear ramp. 
goes in the holes and then that's the lift out panel for easy access to your rear wheel but there you go unboxing and assembling of my Clark strong arm motorcycle lift looking forward to using it. Ta-ra!